So let's talk about this idea of idealism. You're one of the bigger proponents of this in, in the 20th and 21st century. Um, could you talk about like what idealism is with regards to philosophy of mind? Okay. I think the most uh, popular option probably in America and uh, the UK today is materialism. And though it's hard to define, it's, it's roughly the view that everything that exists is in space and time. There's nothing else. Uh, and the mind is actually just the brain and the neurons in the brain. So there are, there are no special mental events. Uh, there's certainly no God. So that's materialism. And to put it bluntly, idealism is just the opposite of that. It's, it says, actually, <laughs> that mind is the most important thing in the universe. There is one super mind, which is the mind of God. And without that mind, there wouldn't be any universe. So that's idealism. Physical, physical things like the universe can't exist without mental things like God. Um, so mind is prior, matter, very hard to describe, but these days with quantum physics and so on, but matter couldn't exist without mind. So that's idealism. <clears throat> idealism. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for kind of walking through that there. Um, and one thing, one question I have for you before we get into some objections for idealism is like, why personally do you think like idealism is the be best option out there um, with regards to philosophy of mind? So if you're going to make like a brief case for idealist, um, what would you say? Well, I say uh, that uh, the first, all human knowledge begins with experience. I think mm -hmm. nobody could deny that. So experience is something you can't deny because that's where you're beginning your knowledge from. And experience, if you think about it, is thoughts and feelings and intentions and perceptions. And all these are mental phenomena. So if those are the things which you know first, well, you can never deny that they exist. And that's what extreme materialists do. They deny there are such things at all. So I don't know what they're doing when they say they're thinking. Um, but idealism is a very natural thing to think. Once you say knowledge begins with experience, well, um, then you can probably, uh, doing a thought experiment, think, well, there could be perceptions and feelings without any physical body. I mean, there's not, uh, uh, not in our case anyway, but there could be. There's nothing logically impossible. It's not, not absurd. So you've already got the possibility of mental phenomena without physical phenomena and that so that i think idealism is the most obvious sort of philosophy and most philosophers throughout history have been idealists by the vast majority of philosophers have been idealists even if they don't use that word <laughs>